<laughs> Hello everybody, Dick Vick here and welcome back to Starfield. We left off uh, weaving and winding our way through two dimensions in this lab that was fucking with the artifact level here. I was looking at these through pipes because the one at the entryway says through pipe 1337HX, which is usually short for hacks, so elite hacks. None of these other ones seem to have any codes like that on them. Ah, uh, we're supposed to be interacting with this computer, I believe. Yes. Storage computer, security system, unlock shutdown. Opens up this door. I know you're gonna come alive at some point, robots. Nothing? I set off the alarm. There we go. Wake up! I want my XP. What level are you? I should take damage. I hit that turtle hip firing. Stop punching me in the face. You dodgy robots. Ooh. I mean, it's always possible, but you can't repair yourself that way. Could maybe like one, two finger crawl your way back into your repair pod and just wait. Um, I don't know. That's the way we already came. So let's be getting up there somehow. So we go back around this way. I'm gonna get lit by it. Is that a 92 turret? Okay then. Mark 10, level 92 per. I bet that's killed a few people. We got a teleporter here. Just can't be bothered right now to hack. Expert level storage containers they usually hold nothing. And the RNG nature of this game makes me not so carry. Like, what are the odds of it actually being, like, a unique... Are there even uniques in this game? I don't know. I hear you slimy gooey things. Yeah, it's an expert here, too. I just have no fucks to be given. What's going on up here? Advanced Kraken. Just pile more weight onto me, cause fuck it, you know? I see you throwing stuff. I also see you high level. Hardened rushing me. Should be at least one more of you. Two more at least? Oh, there's a whole bunch more on my radar. Oh, okay. That reload also opening up the exact same loot window is amazing key bindings game. Amazing. I saw you. You coming up? Down to two. One. And I guess when I said down to two, it meant there's still way more than two down there. Okay, so we go through here, see what's in each area. Oh, do I have to choose? Do I disengage it in this universe, or do I disengage it in that universe? And I bet that determines which one ultimately survives, technically, even though I think both will survive. This is the multiverse theory, but I have knowledge that they don't, that multiple universes can exist simultaneously. I think there's a portal in this hallway, right? Do I care what's actually in this little hallway up to this door in the other universe? No, I don't. 
Okay, so let's come down. Doing level 70. Just playing with the wall. Oh, that actually really, really hurt when these 70s hit me. I guess I don't normally let them hit me. I thought there was a lower level one. Where'd you go? Did my bleed kill him? Oh, is a master worth two of these pistols? I don't use them. Easy master, or hard master. Looking like easy so far. Um, let's just send them. Figure it out, right? You would technically go there. And you would technically go here. Professional advanced solstice. Well, he did not kill him. He was just hiding, waiting for me to open this. They do such low damage. But I guess they're both on fully automatic. Pretty decent loot in this universe. I guess I could at least check the other one before I eat it from existence. There's also a camera right here, though. Superior helmets. gonna take some ring around the bozy convincing to fuck off. Okay then. I'm experimenting with the um, semi or the burst fire here. See if I like it enough to invest in the uh... what am I trying to say? Invest in the critical hit talents for it. Sorry for the late night test requests. We finally dialed in the voltage this morning, but we've been having trouble calibrating the frequency for you for him. Output sensors all look fine, but the intake sensors are showing some kind of phase shift interference, like we're picking up a reflection of our own beam with the distortion. For tomorrow's tests, we need an intake frequency of 34 gigahertz, but it can't find an output that gets us there. I've left you a slate with the calibration protocol in the control room, but you probably have to experiment with it as usual. Good luck on this one. Okay. Initiation, magnet analysis, inactive. Huh. Yeah, I can actually run the test. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Can we do that from up here too? So I'm gonna have five save and see what happens if I hit these buttons without doing this. 34 gigahertz.
Okay. All things need to be disengaged first. Roger, Dodger. Let's explore this room in this side. F5, because it's been a second. And also gains me a little bit of lock up while I adjust myself in my chair. Okay, turret. I see. Yep, you're level 6 to 8 melee bot. I don't want you in my face. Oh, you've got me pinned in the corner. That was damage. <laughs> 46 up front. Put you down. What you got, big guy? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Worst part is I have like high damage EM weapons in my inventory that would probably absolutely fry all these robots, and I'm sitting here using an SMG more or less in burst fire mode. Where are you at? Locked security door down this way. So many portals. This could be why you guys caused the problem here. Like doing this to an artifact, really, people? This was your solution? Not picking it up, not testing it, nothing, just fucking this? Maybe I'm a heathen, I don't know. I just picked the dang thing up when I found it. I didn't set this crap up. And shoot insanely high energy particles into it. But okay. Wonder why they have interdimensional problems going on here. I don't know what my brain was struggling with there, but like wanted to pick some of this stuff up, but I was like, no, it's not worth it. Don't pick it up. But are you sure it's not worth it? Pick it up. Um. There's a portal somewhere around here, right? Over right here. Is this door open in this one? No, it's not. Disengage. Disengage. It's fine. No cancer from that whatsoever. Ooh. Double damage targets full HP. Vault high rounds that are designed to pack a bigger punch but aren't stable. Fail on occasion and randomly deals corrosive damage. You know, I've never messed with one of these things. I'll fiddle with it. It's one of the better weapons I've picked up. I don't want to modify it, but I'll fiddle with it. Turn you off. Turning you off. That does, however, make me curious if this weapon box is in the other world and if it has just as good of a weapon in it as well. I thought I ran right past this area. Does not have as good of a weapon in it, but it does exist. Uh, and does down there exist in the other world? 
Because down there is actually this collapsed catwalk. No, it does. Advanced maelstrom, some ammo. Some more bits and bobs. Engaging you. Uh, I'm sorry, everyone in the other universe, if this happens to delete you from existence, but this guy here needs help immediately. You guys are all fine. So I'm going to keep telling myself. And also, I believe in the multiverses. So you guys should just be fine based on the knowledge I have before coming in here. Control power locks and disengage. All power locks must be. Wait, what? Which one didn't I engage? Thought I got them all. I didn't. Scrubs will be scrubs. Why do I have to do that to do this? Oh, it says they all must be engaged. Shit. I re-engaged all these. Shit. Well, another reality. Is someone going to give me a power or the other one didn't? Speak to Raphael, okay. Stuff. Advanced Negotiator. We are so overweight. It's not funny. Wouldn't this technically mean my like my ship is in here and all this other crap? Like you just yeet all of my existence, all my outposts, everything. But then I guess they said my reality couldn't exist, so like all that stuff should still be there out at the side of the space, is what they specifically said. I'm fishy. You're back. I wasn't sure if you were alive or... or if you were going to come back for me. I mean, not that I'm not grateful, but why? Why not stay in that other universe? You needed more than they did. I... yeah. Yeah, I do. It's not much, but I scrounged up a few things you might still be able to use. You're welcome to anything else you find lying around, too. No one's going to miss it. And as for me, I owe you. You ever need an engineer? Just say the word. Now, let's get off this damn rock. Uh, yes. I not safe to talk here. There's nothing left here. What Come was that on. achievement? Let's go. Entangled. Let's careful. There's nothing left here. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I need an engineer. More than happy to have you as my engineer, buddy. I'm hoping I get a crew member out of him. Partially why I made the choices I made. Not the best. Oh, well, you got a fancy suit, my friend. Did you just die? Ah. 
I can catch you all the way up here and out of there and you just kill over dead. No, so you're like actually a companion now, okay. Yes, let's get to my ship. Pretend like everything's fine. <laughs> She's just dropping them. What is it? Good. Let's go, everybody. Get off this rock. Why is there a sh bug in my ship? No, thank you. Some folk never leave their hometown. Q. Ship inventory spacesuit. Superior constellation spacesuit. Wow, you are really not great. A lot of stuff. Sitting on you. Sitting on you. Sitting on you. They're almost better. It's not quite though. No, oh, I was like, why was that helmet equal to mine? And then it turns out it was my helmet. So that's always fun. It's you, right? I need to equip you. Before I check if you were better than anything else I had. That's all I got rid of, right? Yes. QQ Zagara helmets. Some of those things are pretty high numbers, but not quite. Oof. Eesh. Oosh. Eesh. Such an ugly helmet. With like technically more stats. But so ugly. But that ain't happening. And you know what? I put my freaking picks in here. I hate that there's no way to lock things, or if there is, I don't know them. So why is there 16,000 credits in Zagara? Why? Just why? Makes sense, game. Emptying my inventory for days. Peril. Jumpsuit, some nice fancy gold neon clothing, operative suit stays. Sarah's outfit technically goes. Okay. So I'm assuming what's weighing me down now is throwables. And then I should have some notes. And it's mostly going to be aid. Oh, and I have a few extra weapons on me, so we're good enough. Where is this gentleman? Here for more small talk. Not exactly, but sure. My ship isn't that big. Yes. Where is this fellow? There you are. I can't tell you how grateful I am to be out of there. I just dumped water Thank all the way down my front. If you don't mind, I'll take along until we get back to civilization. Anywhere I'll do, I can catch a ride back to New Atlantis on my own. And then, if you ever need an engineer, or just want to talk, look me up at the viewport. I owe you. Uh, I could use an engineer. Are you still interested? I am, but... 
not right now. Okay. Got it. Gotta get your new Atlantis first. Uh, prognosis improved. Just got two medical conditions. And you know what? I have the crap to fix it. Problem solved. Wait for the service. It's only been a day. Jesus. Okay, go to the Nova Galactic Research Station. Let's head there. Is that a course? You have contraband. Uh, sure. Don't care. Hoping it's in my cargo hold. On my person. Approaching ship. You've entered Free Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Roger. So that put me in neon. Why did that put me in neon? This quest isn't at neon. So I'm gonna go to neon, then I'll sell some shit, get rid of my contraband, but also like, why did tracking that quest bring me to neon? Uh, Auto was supposed to bring me to neon. soul. The house that Aurora has been. Don't make no sense, but who am I? Better not be a waste. Always happy. Are you always really happy to help my friend? <laughs> Nothing better to buy. Okay. Seal miscellaneous. You're not gonna have enough fucking money to take this shit off my hands. I'm just buying some ammo, I guess. Doesn't hurt. Just because I don't want to have to come back to you. Damn it, you still don't have enough. Now we're getting some. What type of ammo does the gun I currently have used since I put it on with haste? There's 11 mil. Pretty sure I have a shit ton of 11 mil, but sure I'll buy all of his 11 mil. Why do I keep backing out of that menu? It's because the key bindings in this game are hot fucking weird garbage. Okay, that stuff's sold. I'm 39. He's on six credits. All right, what's up? Good enough for on stream. I normally just sell off stream. Um, I guess we'll take a little detour to my home base and mess around with this weapon because I've never messed with this gun. Like I've never even like equipped one, shot one, used one. I'm also curious what I could get that shotgun up to the experimental shotgun. And that makes me wonder if experimental is above advanced. Fiddle with you first. Long barrel, yes. Laser, sure, just throw a laser on there, because why not? Optic reflex sight is preferred for me. Muzzle. I mean, honestly, I might suppress this one. I've never gone with a suppressor. I just don't. It's got really long range already. Standard magazine. AP, penetrators, white hot. So why is this different depending on how I mouse to it? It's weird. Why did it make the damage go down to 50?
so confused. Um. How the hell does hair trigger make the physical damage go up? Even more confusing. Is there really no way to not make this a full auto gun? Huh. I could have sworn there'd be a way to make this a semi-automatic. Well, kind of throws that completely out the damn window. Long barrel, laser sight, reflex sight, choke is what we wanted. Uh, tactical stock, flechette rounds. The stock versions are never quite what you want, are they? So all this does is increase accuracy on these guns. It doesn't make them hit harder. That's lame. But I mean, 436 is nothing to sneeze at. I guess we'll still just give this gun a shot. It's super quiet now. It's weird having a suppressed weapon. Well, science! Can we actually go to the Nova Galactic Research Station here? Land. Please and thank you. Oh, you know what? I have an internet browser open. And we're not dropping frames. That's a miracle. Why did I just hear things break atmosphere? Do I have a freaking guardian ship coming down on me? Yes, we do. Make close enough to be a threat to me. Oh, well, so I thought it was gonna land up on top of my ship. It's actually not too far away, but it might be too far away for the guys to actually spawn out of it still. So far out of range. Yeah, I think it's way too far away for the guys to actually spawn out of it. So we got a reactor here. Big boy reactor. Close to home. How is the view from here? Can't actually see Earth from here. That's kind of like... Mm. Let's see. What artifact did they find here and use to destroy freaking Earth? Or they used to create grab drives for the first time. They actually did proper research here instead of just shooting beams at the thing like ridiculously. Find out what secrets you're hiding. Moon base key unlocked. Better not be enemies here. I'm making no damn sense. Some big old technology going on right there. Static ETV that's been here for how long? Light zone. Down to the equipment key. Voltaire. I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly preparatory supercomputer that is currently Contract exclusive for the use by a prison project. It is not meant for your own personal project. Yes, it assumes to seeing just how many decimal points of pi it can calculate, but how many bits of encryption it can brute force or whatever you can simulate. Table tennis is the perfect aerodynamical simulation, but there will be time for that later. For now, I need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline. We're developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. And they should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. We are happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof at 9 EDT. Reminder, please sync all watches to Eastern Daylight Saving Times. Hell yeah. Our partner will be on the radio for the launch. We'll be recording the event to the best of our... So be on your best behavior. Okay then. Um... Any other logs? What you got going on here? 
Magazines? I'd put a magazine in a moon base. It would seem that the Did you pick? left in a hurry. Hopefully for no reason we need to be concerned about. You know, I would hope so. Credits, lockers. Voltaire really is something else. A supercomputer so powerful, they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. You didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> You're welcome, humanity. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, sure. Might, might as well use it for that, anything else. Mm. Exterminator older shotgun. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. We'll random that it's up here. When I accepted the assignment up here, we were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helps when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap. And she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh... Got word that she passed. Sucks. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I'll, uh, I won't be able to go to the funeral. Also sucks. Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. <laughs> you ever get jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard? Building the actual vessels that are going to travel the stars? We're literally on a base on the moon. Oh, come on, Sabina. I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that? Okay. Next. Okay. Confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to earth every couple of days and let me tell you there's long distance dating and then there's like long distance dating you know <laughs> oh hey there i'm a scientist deadly employed willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when i'm back from space it's not a great opening line <sighs> you seriously can't get a date you can find a nerdy check that be into it Five has been a minute. Personal groomers are worth a lot of money, apparently. Next log is saying this way. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Voltaire is being reconfigured for this new initiative. The math we're being asked to crunch is ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with these original equations? Our partner isn't being very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. I admit, this is not the most disciplined team I've ever run. Malcolm keeps stealing computational time on Voltaire and thinks I don't know this. And Sabina's been distracted lately, but won't tell anyone why. I really should demand answers from both of them. But honestly, I'm too preoccupied with this contract. We all are. Despite anything going on in our personal lives, there's something special about what we're building here. Yeah, you're not wrong. We actually built the first grab drive up here. Double-checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. 
Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One Some miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. We're likely coordinated Counting from down. here. Five. Shut up, we're listening to it. Also, why are you on the moon with no helmet? Canaveral, are you reading? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where in you NASA got the and NASA? Data? Not in a million years, Nova. Okay. Now go to NASA. I mean... I'm a fucking space nerd. I fucking love this shit. I can't buy like super fucking space nerd. And uh, yep, go to NASA. Damn right. Let's go to the launch tower. See what's going on. Hell yeah. Holy crap. There's a spaceship here. Where did you land my spaceship? Way out there. Okay. Where on earth? I think that towers like this were once absolutely essential to ensuring our survival. And now here they are, buried and forgotten. Can I have the spaceship? I know she's a relic. Why you got sounds in the air? Are you still functioning? Power up in here? Oof. Earth's gravity, man. Gotta be careful using this jetpack here. There's another way up here. I'm just, just scouting around the bottom. Perhaps an elevator will allow us to access what lies beneath all this dust. Well, don't give it away or nothing here. Got it, we're looking for elevators. There's also a bunch of loot in here. Say I have a bunch of power cells at my base. I will go get them if I need to to access this place. I think we need to go up first, though. Or at least I want to go up first. Find out that they got this from Star Folk and blah blah blah. Changed humanity forever, blah 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 blah. That's probably where they're going with this, but still, I'm down for it. I'll play along. Any audio logs? Anything up here? Is this the room I just unlocked? This is another drop down place. got NASA I'm taking a NASA mug you bet your ass I am in a NASA notebook shit is antique worth billions hundreds of millions to the right collector that is hey there's just stairs that lead into here yucks and I jump down for nothing Hiding anything up here? Ooh, we barely made that. Got bits and bobs, more antiques. After you. Thousand dollar paper towel roll. Or toilet paper roll to survive this long down here on our surface. You bet your ass most durable shit roll in the universe. Hammers, what are you? 
Stellophane container. Now, luckily, this catwalk leads directly to this uh, shipping container here. Nothing that way. Weez be working our way up. Sparkling water. Why do you have digipix in NASA containers from eons ago? Huh? Pong game? Makes sense. Just like a habit of being overweight to press that button. Toy rocket with sound effects, yes. I'm gonna have to put all this shit in like a separate box when I unload my inventory. No globe, NASA. I unfortunately think I sold the Paris one or did something with the Paris one. I have to dig through a lot of my crap to try and find the Paris one. Okay. Hmm. Do I go out here? See what's out here? Nothing, just more spaceship. What you hiding? It seems the only thing lacking is power. With it, this elevator should still function. Oh, is that why we're going to the surface? Oh, I can't take the American flag, sad face. Oh, and I can't take the old NASA poster. Oh, another NASA snow globe. Huh. Takes the uniqueness right out of that one. Lines are refined. Explorer suit here. Gets with the times. Could jump across that. Find a way inside. Chiding over here, game. Nothing. Thing back here, nothing. Power required. Unlocked with NASA access code. Well, luckily, they left the power needed two inches away from it. Now this hurts because there's a whole bottom area I didn't explore because I thought that's where I would probably have to go in the long run. It turns out where I need to go in the long run is right here. So there's a whole bottom area that I left unexplored. Kind of sucks. I need to remember that I left it unexplored. And now we're good. Whoever oh. once used this room probably never could have imagined all that has happened since it was built. Um. I don't know any NASA engineers. But I would imagine they've got some imaginations and some visions of the future and understand what they were working on of interstellar travel and i would bet they predicted a lot of things in their spare time just daydreaming that never came to fruition like alien invasions alien races things of that nature um but i also bet some things they didn't expect have come true so that, that statement kind of probably goes a little bit of both ways not gonna lie It's like all I can really say to that one. It's like they are very smart people with some very good imaginations, probably. Thank you for trapping me in that desk. I really appreciate it, companion. It means the world to me that you would do such things. 
I'm like super looking at things because I'm just curious because it's NASA. And it looks like just a bunch of reused assets from other things in this game. Launch procedures. Launch procedures. Station Deliveries from Mars. The recent delivery from Mars is unsettling. I was expecting rock samples or maybe fossils of microbial life. Instead, Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they have brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? <laughs> Alien tech. All the X's don't work. Station log. Dr. Judith Tatian. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand refs, checking who comes in and out. I joke that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. Good. Station log. Dr. Judith Satin. I have never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. Uh-huh. Whoops, I'm supposed to do access logs, I think. Oh, those were those. Okay, yeah, I mean, they found something that was not of natural causes. Things to be unexpected on Mars. It's up here. Aw, the little puppy's having lunch. I'll bring your whole lunch with us. Don't worry. It's freaking cute little things they do in this game. What's up there? Anything else hidden? Yeah, it's not much. It's not something you would ever need, but they did put something up there to reward you for your time. Uh, I want you. Too bad you can't break class in a 2023 game. Figure that one the fuck out. NASA was very proud of all that it accomplished. I suppose they had a right to be. Oh, uh, yeah, they did. And they still do. And we need to fund them more. NASA office key. Pamphlets. Damn right I'm taking old NASA pamphlets. At least a few thousand credits each, if not half a mil to the right buyer. Mint condition, original from the source. Psh, NASA Bell. More pamphlets. Psh, taking it all. This is memorabilia. Warning and only employees beyond this point. I guess I can go this way. No, that's where we came in. Up here, there was nothing. Just a door. An accessible door. Stealing is solid. Stay on this level. Can I take some of these things back? Now these are real antiques. Actual NASA models from their museums. Money, money, money. Money. I think I want to respect their gravity and not kill myself. But work my way up here. Space rock display. They can break that window for me to take some stuff, but I can't break windows. I want some more collectibles, darn it. Ch -ch -ch. 
technology really hasn't changed very much, has it? Close for remodeling. Okay. Oh, that was her. Ha! <laughs> Sticking up over the top there. I was like, ooh, what was that? This is an awfully advanced container they have down here in Ansa. With a gauge. Really? So all these displays are actually interactive. Can I get that suit? I wonder if that's like an actual lootable thing if you could glitch through here. It looks like it is. I want you! I don't think I have throwables or explosives on me to see if you can shatter glass with explosives. I want that badly. Hmm. I don't know like any of the tricks or anything to glitch into stuff or fiddle with shit. Hmm. I'm very curious what its stats are. You have a frag grenade on you, I think, but I don't think that would work. Um, What do I have that could fuck with this thing? That's not what I want. I want power, slow gravity field? Can I get this thing to go sideways? Answer is a no. Um, can't push it out. It's highlightable, like it's a fucking interactable object. I bet if you could touch it somehow, you could loot it. Throw a hole in the glass, a seam, a crack, anywhere, anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this and spend a few minutes. Okay. I don't think you can get this one, but I was looking around for anything to fiddle with, and there is a, another one right here. Which is the same, right? It's got the blue patches, the arm thing, it's just in a different pose. This one you can literally just open and take the Mercury spacesuit off of them with no, no problem whatsoever. Cool. Uh, there's also a helmet display here, another Mercury helmet. So, I still want this one, but there's just the one right behind it. So, just just take that one. There's also another Mercury pack here. I'm going to have to do a trip to base after this and set up like a mannequin and some other stuff to throw my Mercury stuff on. I'm, I'm just such a fucking nerd i love space shit like this now i'm just like running around like an idiot with my head chopped off it's like i'm just happy it's in my inventory i'm not gonna wear it because stats are hot garbage on it but just glad to have it and i want to put it on display maybe next to a constellation one am i overweight yes i am 
Um, anything else going on here? Just this one. We did above this, right? I'm not crazy. This just went all the way up here. We took pamphlets from up here. Now I've got me making sure I don't miss things in other cases. There's a airlock cab door I can open here. Where do you go? It's a digi pick. Ah, the backside doesn't open. Touche game, touche. Got hopeful. NASA office key, like what does that open? I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math. I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects, no motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you've had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to bump helium 3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? <laughs> I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against the brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm Looks sorry, like Judith. Only testing I... for planetary it's habitats. not here, okay? <laughs> The looks on their faces if we could show them all that but we have learned. I'm not lying, okay? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. Did a star maid come to this universe? Get like Shrek or Crash or do some dumb shit? And get stranded somewhere? In the wrong time zone? With no grab travel? No way to look for artifacts, but being beta than immortal. And he's what's feeding this information. Kinda what it's feeling like here. Unless they found like an artificial intelligence or some something else. But this feels like a starborn propelled Earth to where it is now. Which is like a time loop, I guess. It's like if a star burns, the one that gave us the grab drive and the grab drives but made us find the artifacts and then led us to like it's a loop that couldn't exist without itself. Um, but. Security covered quite a range of disciplines. I must not have been kind to it. On that note, everyone, we're out of time for this episode. Really appreciate you all stopping by and checking it out. I really enjoy making these. I hope you enjoy watching them. Do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. Thick big out!